Hello my dear friends, in the last class we are studying about the interference in the case of thin parallel film and uh, there we are getting our amplitude splitting was happening. In this class we will get the interference due to the same thing means the thin parallel film but here we will calculate the interference due to the reflected wave and transmitted wave. As I drawn, I drew in the last class, suppose I have two thin parallel film and having width E. Last class I did this figure, I will draw a normal here, suppose one light is coming with an angle of incidence I, suppose this light has an amplitude A, ok, so this light will transmit towards the medium with an angle of transmission, suppose that is theta and the transmission uh, coefficient will, let's say that is our T. transmitter emission fraction and our R be the reflection fraction. As I told in the last class, the transmission fraction is nothing but the amount of the light, amount of the amplitude which is transmitting into the medium from the original amplitude. Original means from this line. This line is coming and incidenting here with an angle of incidence I, part of the light is transmitting and the part of the light is reflecting. Suppose this angle of reflection may be R. Let's say it's R. Okay. So as this light came in the last experiment in the expression, I just kept here. I didn't proceed. So here I will proceed with the several number of reflection along with several number of transmission. How it will happen? Let's have a look on that. So this light, now we got two type of light. One is reflecting, one is transmitting. This light is coming this way, but here I can draw a normal and I can say that this light is reflecting once again. It's correct only. This is theta means this will be theta, this will be theta also. So this part is reflected. This is the original now. This part is reflected and one part is transmitted. So like the same thing I can draw another normal and uh, this part is transmit this part is transmitting here not reflecting this line is due to the reflection but here this line is due to the transmission of this line here also once again it will undergo reflection the same thing reflection transmission once again this one will also undergo transmission, transmission. So, final what's happening here? Inside the film, inside the thin film, we are getting continuously reflected light. This light is reflecting continuously. Suppose I will take a long narrow tube, thin film, of long uh, thin film. So, it will be very long. So, inside lots of reflection will take place. So, part of the reflection is also coming as our transmission light. See, this part is coming as reflection and coming transmission. One second reflection, one part is transmission. One part is reflection, this is reflection, this is transmission. So, my dear friends, so whatever amplitude the first light has, suppose this is the original light, your torch is here, monochromatic torch. Okay, this is your torch. Whatever amplitude this light has, if I will ask what is the uh, amplitude or intensity this light will have, is it same? No chance. It will be different. How? The part of this light, as we are discussing on the amplitude splitting, interference due to amplitude splitting. So, this A, this amplitude will be splitted, means part of the amplitude will be reflected and part of the amplitude will be transmitted. Let, and I have told that transmission fraction is nothing but your T and reflection fraction is nothing but your R. Suppose your AR amount of light is this one is going as AR. So this one will be your AT. In the last session as I told, suppose one light is going from the denser medium to rarer medium. In that case, I had assumed your transmission coefficient as T dash and your reflection fraction as R dash. So in the same case, as I had taken the reflection fraction R when the light is coming from one medium and going back to the same medium. But here we have another medium. 
here the refractive index is different another medium is there so when at amount of light why at this a amount having transmission fraction t so this is at when this will undergo reflection this is the reflected line so here this one will be at rds like that once again at rds square at rds cube at rds 4 so these are the amplitude of the reflected lines i asked here if this is a can we say that this one will be a no chance this will be different as we are studying on the uh, amplitude splitting so this is see this line is your a undergo multiple reflection here we are getting a t r to the power 4 which is very much less so like that we are will get also here we will get what this line is your transmission light uh, this is a t r dash so when it will undergo transmission we can write it as a t r dash t dash a t remain for this this is the original source this is the original line and I had considered in the last session if a light is coming from the tension medium to rear end medium in that case the transmission fraction will be T dash that's why simply I multiplied T dash in the original light and for this one this is the original light so this part is transmission light this part is the transmission light how much it will be original light amplitude of the original light means A T r dash q into t dash this is ar this is ar t dash this is ar t dash t dash so like this if we continue your thin film a large number of reflection large number of transmission will take place here also it will go reflection go reflection how much it will be see how it's changing at at t dash remaining the same and r dash is changing uh, increasing with 3 power 2 so this one will be a t r dash to the power 5 t dash this one will be a t r dash to the power 5 7 and t dash the same thing here what is happening if this is your original light this is your transmission light so this is your a t it's transmitting from this part to this part how much it will be a t t dash like that when this light will come out from the thin film we will have a t r dash square t dash for this a t r dash 4 t dash so like that we are getting some lights due to this transmission and some light due to this transmission this light is coming this way and this light are going this way and one more thing students these are parallel lines monochromatic lines and these are originated from a single source also can we say it as a coherence of course we can say these are coherent source so this will undergo interference and here it will undergo interference see we had provided one light only this is our one light which whatever we have provided it under it was under after undergoing it faced lots of uh, reflection multiple number of reflection and the part of the reflection come out uh, the transmission so now it will interfere we will get interference pattern here if you will add suppose whatever the resultant uh, always we have calculated the resultant amplitude and uh, the result part difference also so here we will see on the resultant amplitude wave equation we will see in the wave in the first class i had mentioned the wave equation amplitude into e to the power i with a function wt minus kx something like that i have mentioned here also i will consider the same thing what i will do suppose i have four waves by adding a a b c d i can write like that suppose this will add to give your e your e equation equal to a plus b plus c plus d like that i can say like this one two three four five these four will add to give only one single wave function now we will calculate that wave function for the reflection light along with the transmission light this is very important so, <coughs> so focus on the experiment as i told that i am going to add all the reflected light and i will compare the reflected light with the resultant equation because addition of this reflected reflected light these three lights 
if I will add this one, this will give you only one equation. So I wrote that equation as a into e to the power i theta. Okay. I had told that uh, to mention an equation in the past video, you might have seen that uh, I had used an exponential function e to the power i into a phase. And here I, had, I have considered the phase as theta and amplitude as a. What is this amplitude? This amplitude is nothing but the addition of the amplitude of a, this one, this one and this one. Now, what do I will do? I will take the amplitude along with a function. See, this is having amplitude ar, I wrote ar. This is having amplitude at, r dash t dash. I wrote the amplitude. See here, I have written the amplitude and this is the function. Exponent, exponential function which we use to express a wave equation like that I need a amplitude and a exponential function here also a t r dash q t dash this is this one this is the amplitude okay in this case we have got the amplitude only then what about the exponential function with a increasing series I have considered our exponential function as e to the power 0 means 1 e to the power i delta this is just increasing manner, i.e. this is 2 de delta, 2 delta, 3 delta, 4 delta, 4 delta, like this I have increased this one. Okay, same thing, e to the power delta, see this line, this line is over, this line nothing but I have compared the uh, amplitude with the amplitude of this lines, because this line will, will add to give a resultant amplitude with resultant exponential function and will give us the interference. So, this one remains same. And here I see a t r dash t dash a t r dash t dash these things are common everywhere r dash r dash q r dash 3 so minimum is r dash that's why I consider r dash a t t dash common and e to the power i delta is minimum in every case that, that's why I took e to the power i delta and after taking common this part is 1 this part after taking r dash how much left? R dash square. After taking e to the power i delta, how much left? E to the power i delta. i delta plus i delta to i delta. Like that I got a series. This is the infinity series. So, when you are getting such type of series, what are we are getting? This is 1 plus a value and this value is the square of this value. Like that we will get power 3 of the first second value. Like that this is the series of this one. 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x to the power 4 like that when you will take a series so what is the uh, shortest form that series how can we write the, the series 1 by 1 minus x this is the formula to express this series so the same thing I can implement here this is 1 x x square so I wrote 1 by 1 minus only x the only x is nothing but my r dash square e to the power i delta. Same thing, now one expression I got. Like the same thing, I took the complex conjugate to get some magnitude. What we do mostly? Suppose you have a complex conjugate, you have imaginary function i. You took the first one, then complex conjugate, then you multiply. What you get? The imaginary part will be cancelled, only the square of the magnitude term will be there. Then you can calculate easily. That same thing I did here. Now, I will take the complex conjugate of this line. So, wherever i will be there, only minus sign will be, will, will be added there. No minus will be there in the real number. So, here i is there. So, minus i I wrote. A r. So, no imaginary. No need of a change of any sign. Here, a t t dash r dash. It is i delta. Here, I can implement one minus. And here, this is one i is there. So, I implemented 1 minus. Now, what do I will do? I got two type of expression. Now, I will simply, I will simply multiply these two expression. Now, what I will do? Now, I will multiply these two expression. And one more thing I would mention here in the Stoke statement. Stoke principle, I had derived two expression. Expression 1, expression 2. This expression is the reflection coefficient that is r dash equal to minus r. You go to the previous video and uh, see how this is happening. And uh, here I had also told there is a phase difference of pi. Because these two having same magnitude only 
different in sign means one is positive one is negative that means one is going this way one is going this way so there will be implement of the pi angle pi so this is one more expression now i will use this one what i told i will multiply this two multiply means i will multiply the lhs with lhs rhs with the rhs if i will multiply this two e to the power i theta and e to the power minus i theta will cancel each other so we are getting a square now you will multiply these two before multiplying i will use this two expression so instead of for t t dash i can write 1 minus r square instead of r dash i can write r i am simplifying the process and uh, this one i will keep now when i will multiply i will cancel this one so now 1 by 1 minus here r dash r dash is nothing but minus r but square is there so only r square e to the power i delta this into ar remain as usual t t dash i can write t t dash as 1 minus r square r dash is nothing but our minus r then e to the power minus i delta 1 by 1 minus what is here r dash square is nothing but our r square e to the power minus i delta i simplified i used these two terms r dash and t t dash simply now i will multiply these two i will get a number of uh, terms and i will simplify so multiplying these two equation that i had written you will get a uh, expression like that you you had ar plus a term was there divided by term so by considering lcm you can write such type of expression expression this is for first one into better i should give a bracket no need to confuse so now see ar is here ar is here this is common for both so i can take common ar whole divided by this much so this much left like the same thing ar here ar is common and this part is common for total equation so i can take common ar divided by 1 minus r square this one i got this one i got and here i am getting two long expression so what i will do now now i will multiply see all are in multiplication this is one bracket this is one bracket this is one bracket this is another bracket i will multiply this one with this one means this uh, curl curl bracket i will multiply then i will simplify this equation this uh, one i will simplify normal simplification this one will be 1 minus r square e to the r delta minus 1 plus r square and uh, this one will be multiplied with both in the same thing uh, this one i need to solve after uh, solving this two i will multiply this two and some of the term will be cancel so oh, this is your duty i will now i will write the direct expression and i am uh, leaving one line for you after solving you will get uh, you will get an expression like that let's solve it more so this will be a square r square as usual so 1 plus r to the power 4 now i will take one common that is your r square so what left e to the power i delta plus e to the power minus i delta so like the same thing uh, here, now i will multiply these two so one will be multiplied with the total